Hi, I'm torturing myself today with my most hated heart supply. Let's get started. So, I decided I wanted to try some oil pastels again. I hated these things when I was younger and I haven't touched them since. Um, I've been seeing a lot of beautiful artwork with them on Instagram and on TikTok and yeah. So, I was watching one by this Instagram user right here. And she did a beautiful eye. And I love eyes. If you guys remember from a while ago, this. It's upside down. Flip it. Okay. Um, if you remember from this a long time ago, I did this with Prismacolor pencils. So now I want to try these oil-based pastels, also known as demons. So first, I'm going to swatch these on these paper because I want to use this paper and I'm going to turn it this way. And I'm just going to start from the first one and go to the last one. So I'm going to start with white and go to black. Okay, they started to feel a little bit creamier. I think maybe it's just the lighter colors. Um, but they feel creamy. I do want to attempt some blending, so I'm gonna take, um, I'm gonna take this one, this one, and this one, I think, and attempt a close blend. So that wasn't too bad. Um, yeah. Let's try a blend that isn't as easy, I guess. Um, let's do pink to blue, I think. That wasn't too bad. I don't like how this one lays down. It feels really hard. Like, some of these are soft and some of these are much harder. Is that normal with oil pastels? Because I, I don't know. Because this one feels like a crayon. And this one doesn't. This one feels like an oil pastel. So, I don't know. Like, that's how the white feels. That's how this one felt. And that's how the yellow one felt. That's how this one felt. And I think that's it. Oh, the purple, I think, a little bit. I felt like that. This one still feels harder. I don't know. You know, they kind of remind me, like the blending is kind of like markers. Like you can use both of them to just blend them together or you can use something. Seeing some different techniques. What colors go over what? Like, can I put... Can I put this green over here? I mean, kind of. Mm. I'm nervous. So before anything that I really get started with, I do have to find a reference picture um, I wonder, just, because anyone that has done any sort of portrait knows that it isn't just tan and browns in your skin. There's a lot of different colors in your skin tone. 
So I'm just wondering. <sighs> So I'm starting off with a Prismacolor colored pencil and doing the outline, and yes, that's my reference picture top left. Um, the reason why I used a Prismacolor is because I tried graphite and it just smudged everywhere, which makes sense. So here is where I just really tortured myself. Um, I hate oil pastels. I've always hated oil pastels, and I think if I actually tried them and got to know them, <laughs> that maybe, you know, I could do something a little bit better. I mean, I was trying something pretty ambitious for the first thing, just because I do really like to draw eyeballs. Um, I don't know, eyeballs in any of my drawings are very fun. Maybe I'm just weird, but whatever. Eyes are my favorite thing to draw. Woohoo. So, if I push the values a little bit more and actually attempted to draw this eye like I should have. It probably would have came out a little bit better, but at this point I was just very annoyed because I had already done, not done one, I started one and I got pretty far on it and I was just like something's not right, it's not blending correctly, not like I've seen in videos. Now I didn't know if this was the art supplies fault, my fault, or the paper's fault. So I attempted it on water paper or watercolor paper and that's what this is and it just seemed to blend a lot better it wasn't blending this good on the original paper that I was using it was very soft there was no tooth in it um, and oil pastels I found out need tooth so I decided to um, grab my watercolor paper and start over now um, this was actually the next day from when I recorded all of the other stuff with the other um, paper so I had, I don't know, I had already tried to do it the first time and so I was already discouraged. So doing it again, I was just kind of like, ugh. Now I don't think it came out awful if I actually played with them a little bit more, um, pushed tones and colors and actually attempted to try, then I might have done a little bit better. I didn't blend very well, I didn't have any tissues, I didn't have any um, of my cotton swabs or anything like that. I was using just the oil pastels to blend. And seeing videos and pictures and all that of what people do, um, that's not how they work. You know, they use stuff to help them, you know, change, or not change, sorry, <laughs> um, blend and stuff. So I did have a lot of fun doing the iris. I think that's maybe the best part of this, even though I didn't do the extremely dark tones on the outside just because I was afraid of messing it up. But I don't know, I, this is definitely a downgrade from my Prismacolor one that I did, you know, a year or so to, or you, blah, 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 can't talk, a year or two ago. So I do think, um, if I ever revisit oil pastels again, I would revisit an eyeball and try it again and push myself harder. Um, I do actually kind of want to redo an actual eyeball and see how I've come with my colored pencils from now, from before. Um, I've been doing a lot of pastels and stuff, not oil pastels, just normal pastels. So maybe, but... Anyway, I'm just gonna let myself finish up and see you on the flip side. Bye! So, this is what I made out of these. It's okay. I still hate them, and I'll probably never use them again. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Should probably sign it. Yay, because anyone wants to steal this artwork. Ugh. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, as bad as it was. I tried. I tried really hard. <laughs> And I got so far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. Ugh. If you
you want to see me suffer more, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video.